Good morning. It is Wednesday, March 6th of 2024. We're having a little bit of a gray day here today. Looking forward to having the sunshine come back. I think we're going to get some snow. I mean, a little snow today and then some rain to maybe wash it all away and get ready for spring. So I'm excited about that. Uh, today, uh, when I was up early, spending some time with the Lord, I was asking him about what to record today. And he said, I want one more session about goals. So let's talk about that. We've had, this will be our fourth session on goals. We started last Friday and we talked about goals and going out and leading sacrificially was kind of the anacronym that I used. And then we talked about objective and key results on the second session. And then yesterday we talked about exercise, which is so imperative for keeping our body strong and prepared for what is coming against us. Um, and it helps to activate our mind. It just has such a universal effect on improving our life and how we see life. But today, the Lord said, this will be our final session on goals. And he said, I want people to know that nothing is impossible with me. And in, I want you to learn how em to embrace your goal, his ways. So embrace your goals, God's way. So there's five passages in the Bible that talk about nothing isn't too difficult to God. And if you go to my website, lesliebecker.org, I actually have on every one of these recordings is posted there under blogs. And there is also an attachment of my notes. So I have these five scriptures there. They're Genesis 18, 14 is, that says, is anything too difficult for the Lord? Jeremiah 32, 17, nothing is too difficult for you, God. Matthew 19, 26, three times in the New Testament, this was said, with people, this is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. Mark 10, 27, with people, it is impossible, but not with God, for all things are possible with God. We have to get that in our heart. And Luke 18, 27, the things that are impossible with people are possible with God. So as I was praying through those scriptures, which I keep on a card that I carry with me quite often, I remind myself that nothing is impossible with God. The Lord downloaded a word to me, and I get these quite frequently where I'll just be praying and in a quiet time, and I'm listening and asking questions. And all of a sudden, the Lord, the Holy Spirit will talk to me. And let me just tell you what he said. This is a quote verbatim of what I got this morning. He said, tell them, the audience, the people that are listening today, how important it is for me, for the people to have goals, dreams, and imaginations, and to speak faith words over them. So your goals, your dreams, your imagination need to have faith words spoken over them. He went on to say, well-focused goals break down the steps to fulfilling a dream, perfecting a gift, or walking in the fullness of your life's calling. And this is my sidebar. Let me remind you, God gave us all unique individual callings, gifts and callings for only our life. And we've got a story to share with somebody else. So go and perfect those things. He went on to say, I never, in caps, give people more than they can handle, but I do require them and will inspire them to stretch beyond what they think is possible. For I am the God of the impossible. That was all in caps. For I am the God of the impossible. Part of this process requires speaking words of faith out of your mouth. Read your goals out loud at least once per day before the mirror, where you tell your body and your mind what you are doing, where you are going, and what you expect as the result. Remember we had objectives and key results? Those are the things we need to be speaking to ourselves. We need to see it see ourselves in the mirror, speak it out of our mouth, get it into our ears, and get it embedded into our heart. Because where the mind goes, the man will follow. And this is what he, the final thing God said to me. He said, I expect great results for my children because nothing 
is impossible with God. So I'm just going to leave it here for today. I just want you to think about that, pray into it, and remember nothing is impossible with God. And he has great plans for each and every one of us. And we are to be, to be prepared for the battle that is before us, the challenges that will come into our life, standing for truth and righteousness and justice in our nation, and all the things that we have to do day by day in this life. So just remember, nothing is impossible with God. And go embrace your God, your goals God's way. Thank you for joining me today. It is such a pleasure to bring these messages to you. Have a great weekend. Week. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.